Hey guys, this is Hydra from X Trades, and uh, in this video, I'm going to be going over um, overall market analysis and top tickers to watch for the next uh, upcoming week. So we're going to start off as usual with the uh, indices. We'll start off with the uh, spy. Um, so yeah, on the daily, not much has been going on for SPY, right? Still, we're stuck in consolidation. Uh, we got to this level early April, and since then, we've just been consolidating this entire time. And uh, yeah, not much has been going on. Um, one good thing for both is that the uptrend line has been holding um, on the weekly. So on the weekly, it is holding this uh, uptrend line, so that is a positive. But again, we're just stuck in this chop range, right? So. Um, good chance that we could consolidate for a couple more weeks, tighten up a little bit more, and then we'll see if we can eventually break this 419 level or 418.5 level. Or uh, if bulls are unable to hold, then we could see a flush back down to uh, 376 possibly or even lower. But yeah, um, for now, we have to take it day by day to see what happens. Um, yeah, just see if we consolidate more, and as we tighten up, then we should be prepared for a big move in either direction. But uh, yeah, for now, not much to say other than SPY is just pretty much in chop right. Not much movement going on this week. Um, yeah, it's been trading in a very small range uh, this entire week, actually. Like, look at how small that weekly candle is. That's like, yeah, very tight range. Um, next up, we'll take a look at QQQ. So tech has been a lot, lot stronger compared to the SPY. So um, it looks a lot better compared to the SPY, right? QQQ has also been consolidating for the last uh, one, two, three, four, five-ish, six, five, six-ish weeks. Last week, it actually broke out um, and was able to close above this 321 level. And to, or this week, we got some follow-through. But uh, again, not too much follow-through. Um, let's take a look at the daily chart. So it is trending up pretty nicely. Um, but on Friday, we did have a down day, but again, bulls closed closed uh, the day pretty pretty well. So uh, it wasn't too bad, but um, yeah, bull, or, yeah, bulls have room to 331. And until then, um, yeah, we should see no resistance and we should just see a slow grind up higher and higher. And then when we hit this 331 level, there's a good chance we can consolid consolidate for a bit and then tighten up and see if we break out or break down. Um, but yeah, once we get to this area, it'll be, <clears throat> we have to be prepared for a big move in either direction. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the QQQ. Let's take a look at the weekly chart one more time. Yeah, no real resistance until this 331 level. Um, but yeah, other than that, the QQQ does look a lot better compared to the SPY. Now we'll take a look at some of the big cap uh, tech stocks. That you guys always want to see so let's we'll start off with uh, google google had uh, an amazing week um so really strong breakout on wednesday um really nice volume as well and on thursday it gapped up and on friday um it just put in a consolidation bar or an inside bar so really really good action from google um has been holding up extremely well this entire week, even though the QQQ hasn't made such, or QQQ did end up the week green, but um, definitely nothing compared to how strong uh, Google was this week. So really, really strong action from Google. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> major resistance at the 120-ish level. So um, yeah, we'll see what happens when we get there. But yeah, Google definitely has room for a $2 move from here for next week. All right, next up, we'll take a look at Microsoft. So Microsoft was building a nice bull flag here, really strong move, um, then was consolidating very nicely, and then uh, triggered a buy on this day, and consolidated again very nicely. Another tiny bull flag, and then that day was another buy day, and now it's doing another bull flag. Um, so yeah, we'll see what will happen but microsoft is shaping up really really well as well uh resistance at 315 so yeah i think we should definitely hit that level and then we'll see what happens from there um yeah microsoft is also getting pretty close to all-time high so if it takes out this 315 level then has room back to 350 
uh, which is pretty insane. Um, but yeah, Microsoft acting pre pretty well. Um, all right, we'll move on to Apple. So Apple has key weekly resistance at the 174.5 level. And if it takes that out, then it has room all the way back up to all time highs. Apple looks phenomenal as well. Um, like Microsoft, Apple has just been consolidating. And uh, yeah, it's consolidating right under this key res resistance level. So if that gets taken out, then that's a clear buy signal and uh, yeah, signal to get long. But yeah, Apple looks really, really strong right now. Not giving back any gains and has been trending up higher and higher. Um, yeah, looks really good. Um, yeah, I think there's a good chance that we can break out next week. But yeah, we'll see. Next up, Meta. So Meta has been acting a little bit weaker compared to the other uh, names like Apple and Microsoft, but still pretty good. Um, take a look at the weekly. It is a lot further to its all-time highs compared to Apple and Microsoft, but it is forming a nice, uh, let me remove these lines. It is forming a nice bull flag here on the weekly. So if that gets taken out, then it can make a big move. Here was a good week, uh, weekly bull flag. Uh, formed a really nice, or made a really strong move. And then formed the flag here, broke out. Now it's doing the same thing. Really strong move. Now uh, forming a flag. And we'll see if next week it can take it out. If it does, good chance for it to make a <clears throat> make a move higher again. So yeah, my meta does look pretty good, but uh, not as good as Microsoft or Apple. Next up, we'll take a look at let's do Amazon. So Amazon's still stuck in this uh, consolidation range. It's having trouble breaking that one twelve area, which it makes sense because that's a key resistance key resistance level every time it touched that it rejected but uh yeah if Am amazon can break this 112 level then there's a good chance that we can make a powerful move back up higher uh first resistance level would be around this uh 125 126 level so that would be the first target if amazon was to break 112 uh let me clear this so clear resistance 112 Next level, 125. This is a key support level. So these are the key levels for Amazon. And it has been building an uptrend the last couple of weeks. So that's good. So yeah, if this 112, 113 level can break, then there's a good chance that we can power higher to 125. But yeah, Amazon does look pretty good. But again, this one's still pretty off. Uh, to its all-time highs like Meta, so Apple and Microsoft are still better options. Uh, next up, we'll take a look at <clears throat> NVIDIA, everyone's favorite stock. NVIDIA has been shaping up really, really well. Had a really nice bull flag and then broke out on this week. And then this week, it just put in a consolidation bar, so that's perfectly normal action. Um, but yeah, NVIDIA had a powerful move off the lows, and it's just been acting really good this entire year and part of that could be because of the ai team but regardless um nvidia is a must watch stock and uh yeah it's been acting really really well so i think if we can take this uh this 289 level or 290 then there's a very good chance or that would be a buy signal and then on that buy signal i think there would be a very good chance that we could power higher but um yeah our nvidia looks uh really really good here if it takes out that level then there's a good chance that we could power back all the way up to all-time highs because there's no real resistance probably some psychological resistance at the 300 hole number uh, other than that it has a lot of room <clears throat> to the upside but yeah nvidia looks uh pretty pretty good here okay now we'll take a look at some uh smaller individual names or actually we'll take a look at tesla and arkk first so Tesla has not been acting the greatest recently. Um, yeah, it's just stuck in this uh, consolidation range. So if it breaks 178, that's a clear long play. If it breaks 167, that's a clear short play. That's all you need to know for Tesla. Uh, nothing else really matters. The key, the key levels are very clear. So uh, yeah, that's all we need to know for Tesla. But right now, it doesn't look that great. 
looks more bearish than bullish to me but uh yeah we'll see take a look at arkk so arkk was trying to break this uh <clears throat> downtrend on the weekly and it did make a really nice breakout move um on wednesday or yeah this week and then uh, it pulled back in pretty pretty hard on friday so we'll see what happens um if we get follow through next week then there's that's a bullish confirmation so if we can take out this weekly level of 39.4 then uh that'd be a clear sense that bulls are supporting the recent pop but if we fail and we get below this trend line again then there's a good chance that we're just back in chop range or uh, we can even get back to this 34 level uh, which is a key support level but um yeah that's pretty much it for arkk now we'll take a look at some individual names pltr um palantir everyone's everyone's favorite 2021 name i think it was 2021 but yeah um yeah this name had a really nice earnings really nice volume that's a really good sign right so now we'll see how it consolidates uh ideally you want to see it form some sort of bull flag and if it forms a flag then that would be a good uh good signal to take this trade but right now um no it really needs to clear this 10.3 level that's a clear resistance level but if it can do that um has a lot of room higher this one this one's very beaten down so if you can take out their resistance level has a lot of room to the upside so i'll say uh 14.2 is the first real resistance level there is some resistance here but this is the major one so um yeah a lot of upside potential on this one and yeah look at the weekly bar right those weekly those weekly bars have nice accumulation signatures and it could be a sign that institutions are buying the stock up uh, next up we'll take a look at dual so this one also had a really uh, good earnings report and it made it made a move back to all-time highs uh, and now we'll see if this, if this one can also form some sort of flag uh key resistance at the 148 level but yeah we'll see if it can take if it can form a flag here but yeah this one's also acting really really well um yeah last last time it got up on earnings it made a really big move immediately right now it's consolidating <clears throat> but if it can take this 148 level out then good chance that we can power higher draft kings another one nice earnings gap up decent volume uh let me remove this so it is forming a little flag here and we'll see how it does but if it loses this uh 23 level then there's a it's a clear short to uh, fill the gap back to like 21.7 so it has to hold this 23 level um but other than that yeah dkng is another one to worth, uh, that is worth watching next up shake shack this one is a really choppy stock but uh it all it also made a really big move with volume and now it's consolidating very nicely so we'll see what happens with this one this one's forming a really nice flag so very clear buy signal i'll be on this one for sure if it breaks 66.8 that's a very clear buy signal for me um what's next so this one o n o n this one has earnings uh coming up next week and it's building a bull flag right before earnings so we'll see what happens last time it had earnings it had incredible volume and a really nice uh move up i think uh let's check the percent yeah made a 23 percent move right the first four days of running so yeah this one has a lot of potential and it tends to make big moves so uh, this one should definitely be on your radar too for next week and uh take a look at two more uber's another one that also had earnings last week or last last week and uh, yeah it's been powering higher and uh, next level to watch for is this 38.9 level if it can take that out then i think this would be a clear buy signal but this one's also forming really really nicely it's tightening up um yeah it's tightening up really nicely here so this one's definitely a must watch as well and last one celsius 
So this one has been in a base for a very long time. And just the just last week, we were finally able to break out thanks to earnings. Really big volume. Now it's consolidating, so we'll see what happens here. But this is definitely another one that you want to keep on your radar. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys for this week. Thank you. Thank you guys for tuning in.